Welcome back. When Babs Cartel was arrested in November 2011, he was on the verge of consummating a multi-million dollar merchandise deal with a Canadian investor. I know when we ride out, when we in the deal, which included a footwear line, t-shirts, dog tags, belt buckles and more, was in the execution phase with a December 2011 launch date for some of these lines. When you get the new clocks, the daddy, I wish Colada had no party. That's just about a month before the world boss was thrown behind bars and later slapped with multiple charges, including two counts of murder. Everybody your fiance, so me get my clocks. Needless to say, the project was derailed and is yet to get back on track. We're joined right now by the Canadian businessman who has lost a fortune in this deal and is at risk of losing everything. His name is Robert Todorovic, our guest right now, right here on stage. Robert, welcome sir. So good to have you. Thank you, appreciate it. Now we, we are saying a multi, multi million dollar deal. Can you be more specific? In US money, it's about, to, just to start, 700,000 US dollars. Okay. Yeah, so there's quite a bit to lose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And where exactly was the project in November 2011 when he was arrested? We're just getting ready for the marketing part. We got mm -hmm. most of the, the line ready. We had the shoe samples and everything. We got the molds. Yes. It takes about 30 days to actually make a, a sample for the yes. shoes. So we just wanted to get the right colors and everything. And, Know, make things happen. So you would have been ready for a December launch? Yeah, we wanted to get ready for Christmas because you know that's, yes. you know, when people like to spend money in Jamaica, mm -hmm. you know, they have a good time around the holidays. So we thought it'd be a good time to launch. Was your market, your target market, defined at that time? Who you were going after? Was it just the Jamaican market? Or was it a global marketing plan? No, this was going to go online throughout the world, right? He's got fans, mm -hmm. Canada, US, England, Europe. Yes. He's just growing, right? Yes. So, um, you know, we wanted to launch obviously in Jamaica first and then bring it to the world, right? Okay. Yeah. Can you quantify your losses so far? It's devastating. That's all I can say, pretty much. It's, you know, one thing after another, mm -hmm. you know, um, getting treated unfairly in some situations. By uh, whom? Uh, I was. Uh, Arrested and then released. You were? Yeah, I was arrested. Arrested? And released. Yeah, arrested and released. Mm. And uh, I'm having problems at the wharf too. They say okay. that they're looking for gun. So why were you arrested? Uh, actually, I just was walking down the street and said hi to a, a black person in, in Otrius and things altercated and it just blew out of proportion. By that you mean there was a fight? There... No, 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 it was just uh, some security asked if he was selling me drugs. I said he wasn't selling me drugs. And uh, there was just some attitude from them towards me. Next thing you know, I'm at the police station. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you were walking in Otrius, and this, is, this was recently? Yeah, two weeks ago, Saturday. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You were walking in Otrius with, you say hi to a black person, you say? Mm -hmm. And then I, I knew the guy. I've been here for about 10 years now. Yes. And I was just saying hi because I just arrived. Okay. And uh, the tourism security board or whatever said that, you know, is he trying so to... So what were you accused of? They, they, they assumed that he was selling you drugs. Yeah. What were you uh, accused of? Um, of calling the security guy uh, a faggot. Oh. Yeah. Which I didn't say or anything like that. You didn't say that? No. But were you mad at them? Were you resisting them? Were no, you no. trying to defend your friend? No, I was just looking out for myself because they pulled out their b billy sticks or batons or whatever. Okay. And, and in striking distance at me, right? So it just blew out of proportion. Okay. So where's that now? Where's that case? Um, they released me because there was no charges to be... Oh, they, but were you put behind bars? Did yeah. you spend time overnight? Well, not overnight or nothing. I was there for a couple hours. And then released? Yes. And, and what happened to the gentleman? Nothing. I nothing? He nothing. was released too? He wasn't even arrested or nothing. Oh. This, this came after me. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that was, so you, uh, you say you were, you've been here for 10 years. Um, mm -hmm. 
So you're in and out of Jamaica? Or where, do, where are you based, really? Um, I'm based in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about an hour from Toronto. Yes. And uh, I've been coming back and forth. I did some tours with some uh, music artists, Beanie Man and Sean Paul. Okay. And that's how I got my uh, way out here, through Summer Sizzle with Beanie Man. Okay. So is this your line of business, investing in merchandise? Um... Well, I've seen the market here that uh, some of the artists, they're uh, more about the music and not knowing about the business part of the situation. Okay. And uh, some of the music bands back home, they make hundreds of millions of dollars off merchandise. Yes. And with an artist like Vibes Cartel, you can't really lose, right? It's the hottest artist in dance hall right now. And okay, so you saw a need for Jamaican artists to exploit the opportunities mm -hmm. in merchandising. Yeah, well, you can go anywhere on the island buy a Bob Marley t-shirt, but you can't go buy a, another artist other than pretty much than Bob Marley. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Which some will say is bandwagonism because everybody knows that people will buy Bob Marley's shirt, but what about existing artists? Yeah. And so that brought you to Cartel? Was it you who made the approach? How was that connection made? Actually, I was introduced through uh, Beanie Man, through Cartel. Okay. Um, they did uh, You were introduced Sunfest. by Beanie Man yeah. to Cartel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just started talking from there. And I told them about the situation, that there's a need for this, you know, if you're this popular. Okay. You're singing about products. You should actually own the products. Oh, because so that was after Clarks came out. Yes. And sold millions around the world for Clarks. <laughs> and you thought Vibes Cartel should be selling these things himself. Yeah, well, I'd actually called Clarks about the situation because he, you know, there was about nine million views or something when they did uh, I Think You Can Dance or something like that, TV show. Yes. Yes, um, they use the song. You think you can, can dance, and they use the song in it. Yes. Nine million views for the performance. Yeah. That dance move, that, that dance performance that was done. So to, I can just imagine how many, how many clerks were probably sold after that too, right? Oh yeah, because the, the song was all about clerks. Yeah. So, so these are what you came up with. Yeah. Yeah. These we, products designed by whom? Oh, uh, some of it's me, and some of it's my designing team. It's okay. not just me back home. I have a you know printing shop and stuff like that, designers. Okay. So uh, we went to the Vegas Magic Show, mm -hmm. and we made some links over there with uh, some overseas manufacturers. Uh, they gave us us opportunity to come out with this uh, shoe, and then Addy had actually came out with a song called The Coloring Book, mm -hmm. and I had forwarded the song to the manufacturer. And I said, you know, it'd be nice if we could come up with different colors and stuff. So they gave us actually 10 different colors for this line. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's why the shoes are in all these colors. Yeah. I'm looking at the purple and the a yellow here. This is the dog tag. Yeah, the Gaza tags. The, the, Gaza, the Gaza tags, yeah. okay. And cap and so on. And other, other things were in the mix as well, right? Oh, yeah, we have lots of products on hold right now. But... Do, do you understand the case? What, what went through your mind when you were informed that Cartel was under arrest for murder. I just couldn't believe it, to tell you the truth. Um, we put a lot of time into this, and when I'm with Adesia, it's, it's business, right? Mm -hmm. So for her to get caught up in this situation, I don't believe it. I just think that uh, there's something else going on more than this whole situation. Okay, so you don't believe that he's guilty of these charges? Oh no, I know he wasn't guilty of these charges. So what do you think about the fact that he's not getting bail and he's been... Have you been able to speak to him since? Well, I've seen him at briefly at court and I've talked to him through lawyers. Okay. So, uh, you know, I've tried to go down Horizon. Um, they gave me problems at Horizon trying to visit him. I think it's just because they know that I'm here and that I'm trying to generate income. Okay. And they want to slow him down. Oh, you think they're deliberately trying to slow the project down? Totally. Totally, because um, there's just been so many problems, and people know who I am, you know, and they know that I work with Vibes Cartel. And I just think that, you know, people just want to ruin the name Vibes Cartel. Okay. Yeah. Are you broken by this? Are you still encouraged? Are you still going on with the, are you still interested in pushing this project? 
Yeah, I love what I do. Like just like you know, when the music artist goes into the studio and makes their song, I get inspired by things, and then I come out with things, right? Products or colors or designs. Mm -hmm. So to do what you want to do for work, that's like you can't ask for anything more, right? Okay. And to work with an artist back home, that's huge. Mm -hmm. You know, to have an opportunity to work with these guys is is good, but you know. The, when you're trying to do business and you're having problems at the wharf and you're having problems. Okay, so wh where exactly is the project now? You, they're Everybody's projects produced, right? Uh, products produced. Yeah, we have, we have some products here. Yes. And we have some products on hold. You know, we, you know, want to get these products out. So we're looking for like a major distributor on the island or something that can help push this product. Okay. Some people are afraid to sell the Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel product. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went to some stores and. They say they don't want to sell it, uh, except for Half a Moon Design and Spa. Mm -hmm. It would be one of the outlets selling the merchandise. So it's the, 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 the merchandise are available right now at? At Half a Moon Half Design a Moon and spa. and spa. Yes. All right, so what persons wanting to carry the line, where can they get you? Where can they get it? Uh, Otherwise, reach you. I'm Somebody, a, a store wanting to carry it, what, what, how, what do they do? Um, they can get a hold of me. Through uh, my email address. Okay. You uh, want to put it out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can put Go ahead. It right now. Uh, Robert.todorovic at rogers.com. All right. We'll put it up on screen for them to see. All right. Thank you. So, what about the offshore markets, the, the, the global marketplace? Are you trying to get these products in? Yeah, I'd like to be able to get them in. Uh, I'm about an hour from Toronto, so I'd like to be able to find some stores in Toronto. There is a market for it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when these artists come to Canada, they usually have sold out shows. Okay. You know, 90% of the shows are sold out, you know, from east to west. So, you know, there's a market for this and there's a market for Vibes Cartel. And it's not just Canada, it's America. You know, there's visa issues and stuff like that also, but, you know, through online and new media ways to, to market your, your products, it can sell anywhere. So what's your course of action going forward from now on? I just want to make sure that Adija gets a, fr a fair trial. Yes. Um, they gave him bail on the first one. I would like the Crown to show their evidence or bring it forward to the judge. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of money here to be at stake. And there's not just me. There's other employees that are being affected by this. You know, I'm trying to create jobs in Jamaica. I'm trying to create jobs abroad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard when... The system's not being fair. Yes. The judge can stand on his own two feet. He doesn't need anyone to tell him what to do. And you do what's right. If any Jamaican, your right as a Jamaican citizen is the right to bail. So if you give bail on one, you should give bail on the second one. Okay. Why are you taking the money for the, the bail on the first one? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So in your view, the, the system is unfair? Well, yeah, because if you're entitled to bail, you should, you should be entitled to bail. There's people with worse charges. There's people that are in the government that have been arrested and they're on bail. You know, so I just, I just want them to be fair because they, they look at Vibes Cartel and the tattoos and everything like that. And they're not looking at Adija Palmer. Okay. They're looking at the character person, Vibes Cartel. Every artist, doesn't matter if you're Eminem, you're Jay-Z, that's not their real names. And then that's not how they act, you know, it's, it's, it's acting when you do videos and... Some will say, Rob, that you're saying this because you have, you, there's a lot of money tied up for you in, in, in Adija Palma. It doesn't matter if, the, if he was an artist or he was just a regular person in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. If he was my business partner, it doesn't matter if he sold coconuts. Okay. If they put him in jail for something, I'm gonna fight for my partner because that's my business partner. Okay. Rob, thank you so much, sir, for thank coming you. through and uh, we must, we're sorry about your your predicament. Mm -hmm. We hope the, the situation will be resolved soon. I hope so. And we too. hope you will be able to at least recoup your, your money, your, your investment in this project. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, sir, for coming and talking and sharing with us right here on stage. All right, stay with us when we come back. Romain Virgo, we've been live in the middle. Oh, 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 o